What is up YouTube? So today I'm going to show you how to make um, just a button toggle that toggles um, a div with a, we're going to just say username and password field below it, so like toggling a login. And we're going to be doing this with Angular 2 slash 4 and um, we're going to be doing this in CodePen. One of the reasons I like CodePen is um, you don't need to set up a big build process, it's just you go to the URL and you can start tinkering really fast. Um, so here we are, we just got a blank code pen and I've got a component decorator for app component and um, here's my app component class. And at the bottom here, we're just bootstrapping that app component. So we're just going to start with a button and because we have bootstrap, oops, button, button, primary. Um, we're going to say show, and this is going to be the button that shows um, underneath it a um, username and password input. So to do that, we're going to say div class equals form, and then we're going to go div class um, form group, then we're going to say label username and we're going to add their input and to make that look good in bootstrap it's button button primary see how that looks oh not buttons the input is actually going to be form control Then we're going to copy this for a password. And um, first thing we're going to do is, let's see, so show, we're going to first, because we're going to be toggling the actual text here, show, show, it's going to say show, hide, show, hide when you toggle it. We're going to come here in our class and we're going to say uh, a property of button text. Um, and if you're not familiar with TypeScript, uh, you say colon and then the type that it's going to be. So in this case, it's going to be string. Um, but if it was like Boolean, number, anything like that, you put the type in here. And we're going to set that equal to show. So we've got our property here bound to our class. And that means inside of our button, which is kind of hard to see, but inside of our button, we can actually bind to that. Um, and we're going to say button text is this variable. And now it says show. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say on this form class here is we're going to use Angular's ngif directive. And to do that, you hit the star um, ngif. And in here, you can either give it an expression or an actual property or variable that returns a boolean or is a boolean so if we say like one equals one uh, this is going to show the form if we say one equals two and it is false there's not going to be form so um, we're just going to say if button text equals show um, it's going to show the form and now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, um, a toggle function that's going to actually toggle this and hide and show the, the form. So to do that on button, we're going to add a click handler. And we're going to say just toggle. That's going to be a method. Um, and then in here we're going to say toggle. And again, since we're using TypeScript, now this is not going to be like the, the type that this function is. It's actually going to be the return type. Um, so since we're returning nothing, like we're going to say void, but if we were returning like a string or a number, you'd say like string or number. So that's kind of how TypeScript typings works. So we're going to say void and then we're going to go and say if this dot button text equals show, um, this dot button text equals hide 
and else this dot button text equals show. So basically what we're doing is you click it, it's going to, if it's show, set it to hide. If it's not, it set it to show. So if it's a hide. So it should, that should have us is basically the functionality. So if you click the button, changes the text and hides it. Um, so now we're going to do a little bit of refactoring and uh, just a little tip and something that I've been really working on is, is cleaner code and um, something that should should warn you that code is getting uh, bad or you've got an issue you need to refactor is if you start having a lot of these hard-coded strings um, and that makes it bad because say they the business wants you to say show login well now you got to go everywhere you see show show login show login and type this it's error prone it's not good so we're actually going to you can either have a constant which is a decent way to go but now we're just going to do a, pro a class property we're going to say button text show of type string equals show login and then we're also going to say button text hide string and that's actually going to say hide login so now what we're going to do is everywhere that there's a show um, we're going to replace it with and you can't just say the variable, we have to say this to bind it to the class. This dot button show, this dot show, this dot show, and now hide. We're going to say, where is it at? Hide. And now we should be good to go. Save it. Hmm. So it's toggling. Let's see here, any console errors? It's toggling the text. Oh, I know what's going on, but it's not. So it's toggling the text, but it's not toggling the input. And um, this is actually a result. Wait. Okay, yeah, this is a result of a hard coded string value. And if you remember, we did an ng if, and we're saying button text equals show. But instead of show now, we want to say if button text equals button text show and so now we have successfully fixed the code we've got no more hard-coded string values and um, it's really easy to change this variable and not break anything so I'm gonna keep making more of these angular videos I'm really diving deep and really enjoying angular so uh, stay tuned for more